happy morning friends today we are going to discuss example number 2 which is available on the page number 8 in your textbook the illustration number 2 we have the prices per unit of six food items in the year 2014 and 2015 are given in the following table taking 2014 as the base year compute the general index number for the price of food items and state the overall rise in price of these food items dear friends the question is available on the board the first column indicate the items the items are available bread eggs ghee milk cheese butter then we have given the selling units units are available bread are available in the market in packets eggs are available in dozen ghee available in tin milk available in liter cheese available in kilogram and butter also available in kilogram so unit is always indicate the price here the price of two different years we have available year 2014 and year 2015 the price of bread per packet in 2014 it is 25 rupees in 2015 it becomes 28 rupees by the same way they have given the price of eggs per dozen it is available 30 rupees in 2014 and 35 rupees in 2015 and we have to understand the same things as all so now as per the given instruction we have to find out the index number yesterday we discussed the first example that we have available only one thing that is price of wheat different years are available from 2005 to 2013 and we have to find out index number at the end now here they want to find out general index number general means what we have to find out the overall index number not for the each and every items but to find out general index number we have to calculate compulsory the index number of each things so i would like to find out uh, so again the next column that is called index number so here index number and the formula i have to mention always it is i is equals to p1 by p0 into 100 see we have formula to find out general index number and that is sum of p1 by p0 open and into 100 this is the original formula to find out general index number that is sum of p1 by p0 into 100 remember my friends p1 by p0 itself is known as price relative it is called price relative but if we use our wise mind so we have p1 by p0 this part p1 by p0 into 100 it is known as index number as we mentioned here p1 by p0 into 100 so instead of this formula we are going to use sum of i upon n you can see here we have a definition of average total of observation divided by number of observation sum of the observation divided by number of observation it is known as average so as per our discussion of the characteristics of an index number yesterday we discussed that index number is a special kind of average if it is special kind of average means what it obey all of the characteristics of averages that we learn in the standard 11 so it is general index number sum of i upon n so first of all we have to find out index number for each items many of the students of many of the teachers are using this formula but this is a uh, simple applications we have some of the teachers are using this one p1 by p0 they find just ratio and at the end they multiply with 100 so both the things are same but i feel this one is very easy to remember sum of i upon n because of it depends on averages so here in this example they have given the information about 2014 as per the instruction we have to take 2014 as a base year so this year is our base year but remember if they are not giving any kind of information how to select a base year or which year should be taken as a base year it depends on us 
If it depends on us, always we have to select a past year as a base year. So we have 2014 and 2015. Among these two years, 2014 is our past year. So past year is taken as a base year. But for this example, they have given clear instructions that we have to take 2014 as a base year. So 2014 is our base year. That means what 25 is our P0. Because with the formula, I is equal to P1 by P0 into 100, we are looking first the price of base year. Now, 2015, the year we have to calculate index number. For the year we have to calculate index number, that year is known as a current year. So 2015 is our current year. So first of all, we are going to find out the index number for each and everything which are available. So the index number of bread, the price of current year is 28 divided by 25 into 100 so our answer is 112 so this is the separate index number of bread the price of bread is 25 rupees per packet in 14 and 28 rupees per packet in 15 so common man can get the idea that there is a rise of 3 rupees but if we have to mention index number the index number becomes 112 so any person can automatically discuss that 12% is rise in the price. Now here, about x, so 35 divided by 30 into 100, we can use the calculator, 380 divided by 375 into 100, then 40 divided by 36 into 100, 500 divided by 440 into 100, 300 divided by 265 into 100. So all the answers are available in our textbook also, but I will explain the calculation, how it is calculated. So I would like to mention here our answer, 116.66, then 101.33, 111.11, 113.64, 113.21. These are the different indices. Remember, index number is a singular form. If we have more than one index number, it is called indices. These are your indices of different items. But they are asking to obtain general index numbers. So below the table, we have to find out general index number and we have a formula that sum of i upon n sum that is called total total of i these are the different amount of i so total becomes 67.95 uh, 667.95 this is our total so here i would like to mention 667.95 divided by n, the number of things 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 as per well simple definition of average is sum of the observations divided by number of observations so we have a sum 667.95 divided by 6 so our answer becomes 111.33 it is your general index number which consider all the things bread, eggs, ghee, milk, cheese and butter this indicate that there is a rise of 11.33% in price you can see here 12% rise in bread 16.66% in eggs 1.33% in ghee 11 11.11% in milk 13.64% in cheese and 13.21% in butter but these are the different measure of rise in the prices but this indicates the overall rise in the prices and they are asking to find out general index number this is the general index number which covers all the things so at the end we have to mention our answer there is a rise in price is equal to 113.33 minus 100 is 11.33 the general index number shows that overall 11.33 percentage rise in the price. So this is the general index number calculations. Dear friends, 
Sometimes in MCQ they are asking one question. Select the correct formula of general index number. We are practicing this one. Sum of i upon n. It doesn't mean that I am mentioning this formula also. The original formula we have to find out general index number. So i. You can replace i by putting this formula p1 by p0 upon n into 100. This is the formula they are mentioning every time to select a correct formula of general index number. But instead of this one, we are practicing this to make the calculations easy and to remember for life long. Thank you very much. Okay, dear friends, after completion of illustration number 2, we have to move on our next page, page number 9 in your textbook and illustration number 3 is there. Now, what they are asking over there, the data about sugar production of a sugar manufacturing company from the year 2008 to 2015 are as follows. Prepare index number by fixed base method from this data by taking average production of the year 2009, 2010 and 2011 as the production of the base year. The data is available on the board. The year and production they have given. My dear friends, in the very first example, when we solve to find out index number about the fixed base method. So fixed base method means what? Always we have to select our base year. So in the first example, they cannot mention anywhere which year should be taken as a base year. So it is depend on us means what? We have to always select the past year as a base year. So in the very first example, the data is available from 2005 to 2013. So we take 2005 as a base year. So now for this example, the data is available from 2008 to 2015, but there is a clear instruction is available that we have to take average production as a base production. So which average we have taken? They have given three different years, 2008, 2009 and 2010. I think I have to mistake, uh, it is 2009. These are the years 2009, 10 and 11. These three years average we have to take as the average of base year. Okay, so how it is possible? As per our discussion in the previous lectures, when we take online classes, sometimes it may happen that there is no normal year we have to select as a base year. So at that time we have to go to take averages of few years, which include the minimum uh, clarities. So as per these instructions, we cannot take any single year as a base year, but instead of that, we have to take the average of the production of 3 years, it is 9, 10 and 11. Now these are your production 196, 202 and 214. So first of all, I would like to make a calculation average production for base year. Okay, so we have the production of 2009 it is 196, production of 2010 is 202, production of 2011 is 21 and divide by 3. So now first of all we have to find out the sum of 3 things which is available we have 612 divided by 3. So your answer is 204. Your answer is 204. You can see here, again I would like to repeat the concept. For this example, we don't go with single year as a base year. Instead of that, we have given, we have to take an average production of 3 years and the years are 2009, 10 and 11 and these are the productions 196, 202 and 214. So we have to find out the average of 3 years it comes 204 which is taken as the production of base year. So now your P0 is 204. As per our discussion, it is a fixed base method. Once your base year is selected, it never changed. So P0 is selected, so we have to take 204 as a P0. So now here I would like to find out index numbers, I would like to make a column. So I is equal to P1 
by P0 into 100. This is the formula to find out in next number in this chapter. As per our discussion, there is a single formula we have in this chapter and very easy formula we have. It is I is equal to P1 by P0 into 100. And the many formulas we have, but this is for this formula is known as a mother formula. All the other formulas are depending on this formula. If you need to remember, it is very easy. I is equal to P1 divided by P0 into 100. Price of current year divided by price of base year into 100. But my dear friends, they have given the information about production. So again, we use the first letter. It is P1 by P0 into 100. Sometimes they are giving expense. So we have to modify our formula. It is E1 divided by E0 into 100. So it depends on us. So now, the current year is 2008 because of we have to calculate index number for the 2008. So 2008 becomes current year for us. It is 186. Divide by P0. There is no single year we have as a base year, but we have to take average of three years production, which comes P0. So 204 is our P0. It is fixed amount. So it is 204 into 100. We have to calculate by using our calculator. So now 196 divided by 204 into 100. 202 divided by 204 in 200, 214 divided by 204 in 200, 229 divided by 204 in 200, 216 divided by 204 in 200, 226 divided by 204 in 200 and 230 divided by 204 in 200. So we have to take the answers from the book uh, at your home. You can use your calculator and put it your answer over here. So 110.78, You can make your presentation like in this way. आप इस तरह से प्रेजेंट कर सकते हो. You can make a table. Presentation also play an important role in our annual exam. The proper presentation gives you a full marks. This is the presentations. We have to make a proper column. First, uh, data. This is our question, which is available in your question. Then, next calculation part is that. So, our formula is I is equal to P1 by P0 into 100. Here, we discuss the fixed base method. Fixed base method means what? Your base year is never changed. Okay. So, here we take the average production for the three years. It is 2009, 10, and 11, and these are your productions. 196202214. So we take the sum of three different years of production divided by three. We got it the average production of three years, which is taken as a P0. So P0 is equal to 204. It is not necessary that every time we have, we have to take a uh, average of three years. Sometimes we have given average of two years, average of four years, it may be happen that. But the calculations are very easy. I think all you are comfortable with this method, it is very easy. Now it's time for homework. In your textbook page number 15, there is an exercise 1.1. So example number 1 and example number 4 is homework for you. In the example number 1.1, one, uh, 1 .1, they are asking three different methods like fixed base method, chain base method and taking average as we did here. Okay, so you have to go with any two methods or I recommend you, you have to go with only one method, you have to uh, find out all the indices by using fixed base method. Okay, then example number four, that is called general index number formula. So two examples are for homework. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's time for homework. Exercise 1.1, there is a question number one and the question number four. Please try at your home by using this method. Thank you.